Okay, so let's put everything we've learned together. Now, we need to start off with the proper run, bringing out the leg, like so. And note that when the leg goes up in the air, it comes straight down. This needs to happen all explosively and at the same time. This may be actually one of the most difficult parts because we've learned how to do everything step by step. However, the transition from the jump to the kick, it needs to come from a lot of practice and it needs to come from everything lining up together. When this explodes up at the same time, the second you move up and your, your leg is off the ground, that's when you do the kick. So let's do one again at full speed from this angle. Give it a little extra run. And that explosiveness when you come down will also help you land. Now we land on the same foot that we kicked on, like this leg coming down here, and we can keep this leg tucked up like so. We want to point, keep the left leg pointed down and then and flex to maintain posture and balance and we'll bring the right leg down and that's how we'll do the landing. I'm going to do one coming from this way and note again full speed and the explosiveness. Now we can also do it from standing from all the things that we've learned today but the main thing again is when you shift your weight explode and then kick down. So like this we need to bring the arms up we can do it like that. Also, if you want to just practice without landing on the same foot and just get the good practice in and work our way up to it, we can just move our legs very fast uh, for a fighting application like so. Have some fast footwork and then go straight into the kick and we don't have to worry about landing it on the same foot. Next we're going to show you a couple other styles and variations of the tornado kick.